What's up, guys? This is Matt Watson coming to you from Henley Beach, Adelaide, and we're here to see my new home, the 2003 Volkswagen Transporter. Doors in the cockpit, spacious man. I got two, two. They call them captain chairs, or at least I'm calling them captain chairs. I don't know what they called. Um, she's got uh, 266,000 kilometers on it. That's not a lot for a Volkswagen, you know. Th th these things run forever. There's not a whole lot going on up here. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is not what sold me on the vehicle. As I'm looking around, I'm like, what do you want me to say? It's, uh, you know, it's got lights that turn on and off. I've got windshield wiper blades. It's, it's a van, all right? Up here, it's a van. One cool thing about this vehicle, though, there is a sound system. Not necessary, but because it has it, I'm thrilled about it. I can plug in my phone into it, um, and it's got two kicker speakers in the back. You gotta hear it, man. I am a popcorn machine away from having my own movie theater back there. Here, check it out. Listen how it sounds. You want some comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's Matt Watson Comedy! I can't believe how quickly I found this van, man, and I'm so excited about it. I'm pretty sure it was just over a week ago. I had seen it on Gumtree, and by, I don't know, it was like eight or nine days later, I was living out of it. Look at this thing. I got hardwood. I got hardwood floors, man. That's the kind of, that's the kind of vlogger that you guys are watching right now. And look at the space, man. So underneath this bed, um, there's two storage compartments. That's one of them. It goes all the way to the, the boot to the back of the van. As you can see here, I've got uh, my kill switches for all my electronics. There is uh, separate knobs for both the outlet, the side of the van, the cabin lights, and this wonderful fridge that was included in the uh, price of the van. Sorry about the sand there, guys. I am uh, living on the beach right now. So this fridge is pretty awesome because uh, you can uh, it works as a fridge or freezer. Um, at any point and so far I um, I haven't been driving the van all that much because I've been uh, here in Adelaide for the last few weeks and um, the fridge has been running for a few days off of uh, off of the battery without any problems nice to be able to get from the driving area to my living area um, without having to go outside of the vehicle makes it feel a little bit more of a home that way um, hey did you notice mom I got some got some vegetables in there those are real vegetables that I have. They're not plastic, I swear. I got this. This is my, uh, it's kind of my everything bin right now. Um, it's got uh, two sets of utensils in case I have uh, anybody that wants to come over. Um, and look at this. This is the money shot, man. Look how beautiful the wood is around the side of this thing. The bed's super comfy. I even went and got, uh, I even actually bought this time my comforter. Um, and it's really wonderful and cozy. And look at this. Look at this power outlet right beside the bed. No more having to hang out in a coffee shop for, for hours as I charge all of my electronics. Guess what that does? Guess what, guess what this light switch does? It turns lights on and off. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> it worked. It's, I'm telling you, man, this thing's a mansion compared to what I used to be living in. And curtains. My original Mazda that I was living in Canada, that's something that I really wanted to add because it just gives, look at the privacy in here. And of course, the light switch still works. You can even, it's even more, uh, it's more dramatic when the curtains are closed. And look at this. This made me really want the vehicle, even though it's such a little frill. But look at these cute little fairy lights. You know, who wouldn't want to live? Who wouldn't want to live in a place like this? Let's see what's going on on the, on the butt end. Um, look at how beautiful this thing looks. And I've got, look at these little curtain wraps I've got. They're bohemian, I'm told. Um, shredded sheets are what they actually are, if you want to use their real name. Um, underneath this bed, so much storage space, not that I need that much room, but I've already got a fold-up bike that I purchased off Gumtree for a good price, and I've been told that a surfboard can even fit underneath here, which is one of the things that I want to learn how to do while I'm here in Australia. Um, there is a trap door underneath this mattress where I can access the battery and the converter 
which is how the fridge and the lights and everything back here is ran. So it's perfect because no matter how long I run everything, even if they die, the van will always start. And you want to know the best part about this van over the one that I had in the UK? This one drives. Come on, guys. All right, let's not forget last week's card from the Anywhere Travel Guide. I pulled to find a queue and stand in it until you get to the end of it. Explore the purpose of this line. Now, luckily, I went to see Queen this last week here in Adelaide at the Opal. And I had uh, waited in a line to get in. I waited in a line for food. I waited in a line for merch. So this was a great place to explore this topic. Lines are great because it delays your gratification, making what you want worth more. Why do you think they move people so quickly through like a McDonald's? You know, if you had to wait more than two minutes for your Big Mac, you'd realize it's not worth it. The longer you wait, the more time you've invested and then the more committed you become to the line. What I love about it too is it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. Everybody in the line has a common goal and that's to get in the front of it. And it keeps order or else it'd be chaos. As it turns out, I think lines are a good thing because they keep you disciplined. And at the end of the day, you only stand in a line for something that's worth waiting for. So that's it. Now let's pull uh, this week's card at random. What are we going to have to do by next week, Wednesday? We have to walk into a shop that makes you curious. Find something interesting inside. Buy it if you can afford it. I like that little extra part. It's a little stab, little stab at Matt Watson there. Like buy it if you can afford it. All right. Don't, we don't want to put you out of business there, you hobo. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you next week.